Bonjour ni hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a special Lounge Fly video! So, we've been so excited to get in this box. Um, Derek, who is actually a VP for Lounge Fly and Funko, actually reached out to us, said he was a fan of our channel, and he's noticed that we've done so many Lounge Fly unboxings. <laughs> And he said that he wanted to send us a couple of the new products to review, which we're so thankful. So thank you so much, Derek. And we are more than excited to get in this. Uh, we did not look yet, so everything is still sealed. We've been dying to get in this. I'm so excited. All right, so I'll just get in this. Oh my goodness, there was a lot in here. Should we start with like the biggest thing that we see? Yeah, you go first. Okay. Oh my god, he sent all of these. Things. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what I'm seeing is... Oh, oh, it's glittery. So, if you did not know, Funko bought Loungefly. So a lot of the Loungefly pins have like the little Funko crown on it and stuff, but... Oh my gosh, these are the Funko Pop pins, which we've seen some of our friends get some, but we didn't know like how beautiful they are in person. Those are stunning. And apparently they actually have a stand. So, so you can kind of just put them on a stand and like admire them. They're almost as big as a Funko Pop themselves. They are actually, I think they are the same size. Oh my gosh, oh my that's God. incredible. This is beautiful. But he sent us, Five of these. He sent us all five of oh, the that's series. That's interesting. On the back, it only has four options. These are the options of the Fab Five. Goofy's on here. I don't know why he's not here, but this is what it looks like in the box. And look at the glitter detail on this. Wow, these are gonna look amazing on our pin board like as like a middle staple. I want to open it because I want to see how they yes. stand up. So we'll def we're definitely going to put these on our board. <gasps> oh. oh my god, this is like thick. This is like, and it's like the pa- Oh! Look, there's a stand! Oh, okay. And there's a crown on the back! Yeah. So, again, I'm going to show it up close. Oh my goodness. This is just beautiful and it's standard Mickey and then the back actually has three pin backs and then they have the little crown down there and then this is the stand I was saying so it kind of just goes like that. I like them standing. I do too. And here's the mini. She is number two in the series and she's all glittery with her heels but like I love it. I love how these just our display and they actually are just Funkos but as pins. <gasps> oh, I love these. These are awesome. I'll put this one here for right now. Cuz uh, they stand so nicely. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. Uh, and we're going to show all of them together. So, we'll do Donald and Daisy next. Well, oh, actually not all of them are glitter. So the Mickey was and the Minnie was. The Donald is not, but oh my. it still pops so much. Is yours flopped? No. No, it's a different texture. Like, it's not enamel. Oh my god, you're right. It's flocked. It's, it's a flocked. flocked pin. Oh my god, so that's interesting. So they did some glitter and some flocked, which are the Funko Pops that we like to collect more so. Wow. So here's the daisy, and you can kind of see when you turn the pin like this way that you can see that that's not enamel. It's like a white flock texture, which is really cool, and it also carries down to like the white of her dress. And her arms are enamel though, so that's weird. But I love this, and she looks so sassy, and I love her teal bracelet. Same thing with Donald, so he is flocked on his white portions. And then there is actually a tiny amount of glitter on his outfit, but not as much as the Mickey. 
Goofy is a chase. Oh, so pretty. Because he's not on the back. He's only right there. And there is Goofy, and he's all enamel as the chase, but he's massive with his, like, big hat. Same back, the same little stand. These look so, like, they're, like, so classy looking. I love these. They're really cool. Oh, that makes sense that it's a chase. That's why he's not on the box. Oh, yeah, and that is flecked, too. Oh, it is. I missed that. Oh, yeah. that's so cool how they yeah, do that on pens. It almost looks like his outfit is, like, so neon -y that it looks like it could be glow-in-the-dark. Does it say on the box? I don't think it would be. No. Yay, so that's awesome. Definitely going to be an awesome collection in our pin board for our Fab Five. Yes. Okay. So, pull, oh my gosh. I just, I have to do this. Yes, go ahead. So pretty. Look at how big this is. Oh my god, it's glow in the dark. Ooh, and it's a sliding enamel pen. And it's limited edition of 500. Holy cow. This box is just everything. We're keeping this box, but it is... And it's a cat face. It is the... Yeah, the out shadow is Binks, and it's from Hocus Pocus. And it is the Sanderson Sisters, which we love. Oh my god, this is stunning. Ooh, and then it does have slider elements. Sisters, we fly! <laughs> so this is the box. You can see the little cats. And that's the back of the box. This backer card, too, is just so pretty. You should put that backer card on our Halloween pin board. Yeah. And then it does kind of like do that slide element like they're flying. Oh, and these clouds are beautiful, too. Let's see. Okay, so this is the back, and it has the crown again, and then you could kind of control the sliding element right there. And then that is the beautiful pin with the moon, and you have her on the vacuum, which is so fun. And yeah, it just kind of slides. This is awesome. I love Winnie's hair. This is stunning. She looks so pretty. It's so pretty, and the clouds are iridescent. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. We're definitely going to need a bigger Halloween pin board. <laughs> which we're not mad at. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> yes. Oh, beautiful. Damn. And, actually, I wonder if we could show it glowing in the dark. Maybe we'll insert a picture. The next thing I see is another Hocus Pocus item, and this is a Hocus Pocus keychain. This is getting me in all of the fine I bulbs. know. We should have dressed in a different attire. <laughs> we didn't know it was going to be in this. <laughs> oh, this is... I love this. It is a Hocus Pocus dangle keychain, uh, gold. But what I love about it is that they have the black cauldron, but then they have all of their brooms and mops and vacuums that they all ride when their brooms get stolen. And obviously, the favorite is Mary with the vacuum, because that's everything. So this is cute. I love using dangle stuff like this as bag charms, especially seasonal bag charms. That's really cool. I, I do see something that... If you know us, you could probably guess what it is, but we'll save that till the end because there's a little more to show with those, but let's see. Next we have... <gasps> ah! Yes! yes! Sticking with the Hocus Pocus theme. Oh my god, these are beautiful. So it is the Loungefly enamel pin set of the Sanderson sisters with the cauldron. Holy cow, this is amazing. I just love all of the backgrounds that they include on the cards. So you have Winnie, Mary, and Sarah. And then you have their potion with a really cool green element inside. Ah, oh, these are beautiful. What's cool about this is we actually pre-ordered a couple of the Hocus Pocus mystery pin boxes from Loungefly, and they haven't arrived yet, but they are different than this. It's going to be fun to double our Hocus Pocus pins. Yes. Oh, and that's when her arms are up, she's saying, the boys will love me. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, and it even has Mary's little mole. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I love these. 
Um, the next thing I see, which is super exciting, is a lanyard with pin set. Ooh, and we love our Disney villains. Those pins are actually awesome. Too. Yeah, these are really cool. I've never seen these pins no. before. Here is the lanyard. I think this is actually my second lanyard or third lanyard that we have. But these black and white pins are so dynamically graphic with like the red. So you have Dr. Facilier, Jafar's Serpent, a really awesome pin of Cruella, and the Evil Queen's Poisoned Apple. But I think my favorite would probably be the Dr. Facilier or the Snike. But these are so fun. And, oh, lest I forget that it shows that there's a villain's lanyard with a plastic badge holder uh, for your pass or money or whatever you want to stay waterproof. I will say that whenever we go to Universal, like, we love wearing things like this because you need, like, that little card, card yeah, to show. So, I'm actually going to put this on because it matches my outfit a little bit. Uh, I didn't know Lounge... I'm wear this in the whole video. I didn't know that Loungefly did lanyard and pin sets. Yeah, I didn't... The more you know. I think that's new. Wow, there's so much in here. Alright, I'm just going to pull something else out. Oh, this is cool. So this is a Nightmare Before Christmas keychain. And it's of that evil teddy and... The snake and the duck. The duck. It's from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And then you have... The snake actually looks really cool with the presents. And then the back of it is just a standard crowns and it says Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is cool. We actually for Nightmare Before Christmas mostly collect the pins and Funkos. So this might go in a future giveaway. There are a few more keychains in here which is so exciting because you can never have too many backdrops keychains. All right here is it has a Disney bill. Oh, oh that's mass. That's really cool. I want that one. You can have this one Tim. <laughs> That's so pretty. Here is the villain's keychain by Loungefly, but the be what is stunning about this is the beautiful graphic medallion of Chernenbog, then with the lovely royal ladies of Disney, the evil queen, Cruella, Maleficent, and Ursula. Oh, I love that. That is really cool. And I love that blue. Wow. The blue, like, of Chernenbog turns out really pretty. And these are, like, legit, like, Thick and like they're a nice weight to them, so those are, you're you're not gonna not so find your keys with them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So next we have another keychain, and I know a certain someone that's gonna be very jealous of this. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh! Yeah, it has a spinning element. Oh my god! Oh. It, it's his butt. I was like, why does it have a face on there? Oh, this that's is funny. So cute. So it is of Winnie the Pooh. So you have Pooh there. Oh, actually, that's the back. Whoops. So let me turn him around. So you have Pooh there, and you have Tigger and Rabbit looking up at Pooh like, oh, he's getting in that tree again. And then it says, oh, bother. And then when you turn it around, <laughs> you have his butt, and then he's trying to squeeze himself into a little tree to get some honey. And then the back is just really pretty crown designs again. This is really, really nice. It's so cute. Really cute. Ah, oh, I just love all of these like would be really cool pins too. All these keychains yes. like so right on. All right, so there are two more things before the two items that I think we're most excited about, but I will show these. Oh, this is perfect for me. This okay. is a Marvel Loungefly keychain. This is a Marvel Avengers keychain, and when also just as heavy and substantial as the other ones. And you can see kind of Instagrammy of all four of some of our Avengers, from Captain America to the Hulk to Iron Man to Thor. My favorite would be Thor. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> That's perfect for you. See, and then while I'm here, because you're already wearing a lanyard, I'm going to open up what looks to be another lanyard card holder. And... Oh, that's cool. Oh, 
Oh, it's themed to Winnie the Pooh, too. <laughs> oh, it's a... Oh, my gosh. There's a sleepy little poo he's had a lot of. What? Oh, honey. And there's this little kind of uh, plasticky rubber uh, charm on it that is the honey that looks like you can, like, feed poo honey. And then when you undo it, you have bees all the way up for a cool lanyard pass holder that then also is detachable if you want to grab this and just make this a card wallet or like a swipey card. I'm, I like this. That's really cool. We are ready to go on a trip. Right? We are more than ready. <laughs> we are ready to be out of quarantine and be into parks. Oh, I love it. Okay. Right. I'm and so excited, Tim. The two next items are something that we are obsessed with. And, oh my god, neither one of these are sets that we pre-ordered, bought, anything, but one of these... We wanted all of them, and I don't know why I didn't pre-order them, but, like, he just read our minds. Oh my god, and, like, he did just throw in, like, a couple of boxes. Literally, this is the store display. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh my god, I've never seen anything so cool. Oh, and then we can make it look like we have a little store in our house! <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, so I'll show this one first. Oh, uh, like look how freaking cool. So there are 12 boxes and then these ones are the villains. So those are all the ones. Hades for some reason is like the chase on a lot of these boxes. But oh my god, the cards with Dr. Facilier and then just this whole aesthetic with Ursula. These are freaking awesome. Wow. And then I have another display box of 12, if you can believe that. So that, oh my gosh, that's 24 blind boxes. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, here is the next beautiful sleigh. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot card series. And when you look at these pins, I, I actually really love these pins. Uh, we collect Nightmare Before Christmas for Halloween, around Halloween, and these are added to our seasonal pin board. So you have a bunch of common tarot cards that relate to the characters. So you have the Fool, the Death card, among others. There is a Chase Glow in the Dark, but these are so beautiful. And it looks like a store in your own home, look. Huh. <laughs> yeah, actually, I wanted some of these ones too because like the card aesthetic looks so cool. And we just collected some of the other card ones. Mm. Like, they had an Alice in Wonderland one from Loungefly. So I think maybe we'll just open a few of the Nightmare Before Christmas ones to show you guys the pins. And then maybe we'll just open this until we complete the set because we want all Let's of hope we can complete a set. Oh, I would die. Can you imagine? How many total pins are in the series? Are there six? There's six in each. Okay. Okay, so unboxing with an unbox? Oh, it's a mini game! Oh, wait, who's going? Which one are we doing first? That one's first. Alright, so I just grab a box. Yes. The best day ever. I'm not going to say what I want, I'm just going to open the pins. Because we want them all out. We want them all, yeah. Especially in this case. And season. hopefully we can collect them. The first pin I see is Ursula! Oh, these are beautiful. That was my, like, number one, number two. Oh, these are pretty. This one is gorge. I like that pin. Wow. Oh! They did such an amazing job with these. And those are big, too, for the yeah, loud side. Just pens. like the background vibe is awesome. And then the back of the pin has the crowns. Yes. You know what I like about these? Do you remember the princess pins with the frames around them? Each of the frames around the villains is so specific, detailed and specific to them that it's like an entire scenic scape when you look at it. Yeah. I love it. And they made her face look amazing. Sometimes, like, with Ursula yeah. pins, it's like... It just looks like a chin. She don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to go right in a row and see if that works. And then, of course, the little black baggy. Oh. It's a new one. Oh, this one's cool. See, you know what I mean about the scenic scape on the yeah. border? It's so pretty. Oh my god, this is stunning. And she just looks happy for once. 
And this is the evil queen, or no, queen of hearts. I always say evil queen. Oh, this is awesome. I love the card detail. And then you have the roses. Some of them are like not painted all the way and she's gonna come find Alice and ask her what she's doing. I don't know, I love cards. Like, like so many like card details and pans, like the Dr. Facilier one has that too. Oh yeah, cards, the theme of 2020. More people are playing card games too. Um, next pin, let's hope it's not a DB and the, oh, classic but beautiful. Oh. And look, she like kind of looks like she has that like lashes for days. <laughs> This is cool. This looks like it might glow in the dark. I don't know if it does. So this is the Evil Queen. Oh, she looks stunning. And I love the poison apple on the top. And then you just have like all of the rottenness around her because she is so villainous. <laughs> okay. So we're doing good so far. We actually got the whole top row. <laughs> So, actually, all the ladies. So, let's see if we get a gent. These are so fun. Oh, no, we got a duplicate. That's okay. I'm sure one of you guys would want to trade for this. We do have another Ursula. Can I grab from any spot? Yeah. But I'm going to You just got a duplicate there. Okay. Then I'm going to go towards this middle row and see what happens. I'm intrigued by <laughs> how these are arranged in a box. Yeah. It is a, oh, it is a man and it's so pretty. It's the chase. Oh, and it has glitter on it and it looks like a mirror. I can that see, so cool. I can see myself in this. Oh, I am so happy that they've been making more Hercules Hades merchandise because I do not think there's enough of it in the world. And look at his glitter hair. Oh, my oh God, that's that so cool. cool. That's a really good pen. And it's like a mirror in the back. I, I'm, I'm, that's my favorite pen so far. That this, one's really cool. This is really cool. And that. he has this evil face. And yeah, I don't know if you could see, but this is kind of like a mirror, but it's like slate. And you have all the glitter details. Wow. Loungefly does do really cool slate pings like that. They also did the like the Oliver ones that had that same kind of like mm -hmm. element to it. So when you move it, you always like see a cool. See. All right. Are you gonna do that same row that I did the third row? I'm going to. Hope it's a man. <laughs> All right, so I really want Dr. Facilier. The Jafar is cool, but... Well, we need him to complete the set. I know, them. but I'm just saying I want to pull the cool one. Okay, oh. it's Jafar. Which, I mean, we obviously needed him. Oh, this one's cool. It has the beetle broken <gasps> up on each side of him. That's really cool. And he looks crazy mad. And I just love the whole like color vibe of this, like the black, red, and gold just looks so cool together. All right, so with any hopes, this is going to be the Dr. Facilier. Come on, good doctor. What do we see? Doctor, what doctor. Do? Yes! Yay! This is a beautiful That's purple. That's my favorite one. Oh, and you have his, like, em his um, emblem of where he sucks the blood. It's little, like, <laughs> necklace, and it's filled with blood. Oh, that is such a cool purple color. Oh, that, this I like is that one. awesome. That, I, I, but second to the Hades, that's my favorite. The Hades one's is my still favorite. my favorite. I just love this color scheme again. Like, oh my goodness. And I love, like, of course, the cards, and then you have his little vial necklace there and his hat is always on point. Well, let me show them all up close. It is, it is truly a beautiful series. This is a masterpiece. And look at all of them together. God, that's gorgeous. Isn't this stunning? Oh man, it's gonna look so great on our pin board. Mm. Ah, <sighs> yay. So we might actually throw some of our leftover ones in a giveaway too. So make sure that you are subscribed to our channel so you have a chance to enter when we do that next month sometime. Yes! Okay, so next we're gonna move on to 
Cards, cards, cards. Tarot cards of Nightmare Before Christmas. You showed these ones, right? Yeah. So these look awesome. I would say I want the Zero one and Oogie Boogie the most. And what's awesome about these ones are all of the options are like main ones we know. You have Lock, Shock, and Barrel, The Mayor, Zero, Oogie Boogie, Jack, and Sally, which are like the main ones. I really like The Mayor too. Oh! So the chase is the glow in the dark of Zero. And his little house. All right, let's hope for the chase. All right, the first pin of this series. And the best part of this is that there we've never opened these, so there's no chances of duplicates yet. Oh, these, oh, I got the first one I wanted. That's a chase. Oh, that's You keep pulling the chase. And it's the death card. Oh. Oh my gosh. And that glows in the dark. It does glow in the dark. Look at that, the death card. I hope this isn't predictive of my future though today. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a tarot card reading. Oh, I've had many. I believe in it thoroughly. Let us know down below if you guys have ever done tarot card readings. I did it in New Orleans right before our wedding as part of my bachelor party and it says we were going to live happily ever after and we did. <laughs> okay. So, just going right in a row, let's see. What What is your future from your tarot card if it's not death and that's mine? Oogie. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh. The Oogie Boogie one, it says the fool and I thought I said the tool. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to pull that one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, cute! So these are the Lock, Shock, and Barrel, the Young and Kitties, and it says the Chariots. So they're in like their bathtub, which is that walks. <laughs> oh, these are awesome. These are so detailed. These are going to look so good on our Halloween board. And I don't know why, oh, there it goes. But like the border detail wasn't coming off on camera as much, but when you move up, you could see like the sun, or the, the sun, the stars and the moon. These are so awesome. I love the border because with the gold three lines, it has like a very art deco vibe to it. Like American Horror Story Hotel. It's gorgeous, <laughs> it's stunning. They're absolutely beautiful. All right, next pin, I got oh, the queen. How is she, though? The queen is here, Miss Sally. And I don't know Sally's cat's name. She has a cat? I mean, there's a cat in the pen. <laughs> oh, I don't know that. Look, there's a little kitty cat. So I don't know. Comment below if Sally does have a cat. <laughs> but here is the queen, and you can see her little cat. Let's just name him Mittens for now. Mittens is down there, and that is a lovely tarot card. And then, what I don't know if we showed the back, but the back of these pins are gold with the Funko crown as the waffling, and then Nightmare Before Christmas written on the bottom. So we're gonna try to mimic the other one and see if like we don't get duplicates if we skip rows. If we skip and go to the first and third row. It'll probably not work, but it's fine. But I'm intrigued to see how, I've always wondered how pins are packaged. <laughs> it has fascinated me since the beginning of time. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah! Oh! It's a new one. It's the tool! I pity the fool! <laughs> no, it's the fool. I know, but you <laughs> thought it was the <laughs> Oh my god, Tim the tool man? No, no. <laughs> oh, look at him. I just always love, like, his design and his shape. He looks so funny. And then, of course, when you move the pin, you see all the other elements. Oh, this is amazing. Staying in row three, let's see if this is either Jack or the mayor. It is the mayor! Or the emperor. Oh, and he only has on... Um... Happy face, because he's like giving a speech from a podium. Oh, that's cool. That's a, oh my god. That level of detail on that pin is like by far yeah. stunning. He looks like a like, if you glance at it, it looks like a haunted house. <laughs> he has his podium, and then there's a bunch of flying bats. And then, yeah, it says the emperor, and there's a little pumpkin on the bottom. And then on his podium, there's a pumpkin. 
And like, yeah, once you kind of like look at this, you could kind of just like see other things, which is super fun. All right, so if our calculations are correct, this pin should be the final one in the set, which we need Jack. So can we do it? If not, then this system is incredibly flawed. <laughs> it's totally fine because then we'll have ones that we know you guys would want to do for. All right. Yay! Yay! It's Jack Jack, or Jack Jack. It's Jack the Pumpkin Queen. King. King. <laughs> hey, Megan and Julia. Hey! <laughs> Oh, this one's cool. And he is the king. So here's the jack. And he looks awesome in front of like an evil moon. And then of course, when you move it again, you see all of the lovely gold elements. And you see like a little hidden pumpkin. And then here are all of them together. Oh my God, these cards are just the coolest, coolest thing ever. Awesome. I love that. I can't wait to see that one glow. Yeah, so um, some of the rest of these boxes will probably end up going in a giveaway as well. Wow, thank you so much, Derek. Thank this you. Incredible, we like have no words. Like you sent us so many things that like bring us joy and we're gonna like just look at it and remember how awesome this day was. Yes, even before we started the channel, Tim and I have been huge fans of Funko and Loungefly, so getting to do this video with all of you is a dream come true and has been so much fun for so us. amazing. Yes, and just like, I just can't even pick a favorite because there's so many things that he nailed yes. for us. Like, So let us know what your guys' favorite is down below and if you plan on getting any of these. It certainly puts us in the Halloween fall spirit with yes. all of the all villain the Hocus and Hocus. Night Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus. And this has been awesome. We had a blast sharing this with you. If you had a good time and love Lounge Lion Funko as much as we do, please take a moment to give this video a like. And if you're not a subscriber, we would love for you to consider hitting that subscribe button. If you love Funko's pins, Disney, and pop culture related content as much as we do, and if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you are having a great day, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye. Bye.